Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's me, Journey Again Six, your middle aged natural beauty. Welcome back to my humble abode. Uh, I am here today, March 7th, Sunday, with um, a one week uh, post lock installment update. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a be uh, going to be a brief video. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope. So, as you can see, um, I got my hair, my locks installed last Sunday. Total. I mean, if you guys want to see all those details, you can go back to the video that I posted last Sunday. It'll tell you the uh, amount of time um, that it took. It'll tell you who did my locks. Um, it'll tell you um, all you need to know about this installment. These, I found out yesterday, are sister locks. But the thing about these locks... Um, he didn't really follow a grid. He followed the partings that I did, but he didn't really do a grid, which I'm really not mad about that. Um, the thing about the front, I'm used to having a straight part going back to where my hair can just fall and I can you can show the part. But the way he did the front, you can't it doesn't it falls to the side to both sides. But you just don't see a part. And I looked at his hair and I said, this man did my hair just like he did his own hair. Anyway, I'm debating on whether or not I want him to take this front part out and redo it or just leave it in. So I'm going to show you where he followed the grid and where he stopped following the grid. So I know I have, I'm cowlick, so my hair does grow like this. And I do appreciate the fact that he did... Um, take the way my hair grows into consideration when he installed the locks. So here I'm gonna show you. So part, parts. So this is where it looks like he stopped following a grid. Just this little part right here to me. You see how everything is following a grid except that part? So I think he just did that because I'm cowlick. And I guess if if he had made a straight part coming down this way, then it would have probably looked like that. So the way he did it, it kind of just falls naturally, you know, without showing a part to each side, which... I'm going to I have a week well, two weeks to figure out what I want to do if I really, really like that or if I don't like it. Sometimes um, and it's only been a week, but sometimes I look at it and I think it was pretty clever and it was it's pretty cool. Um, and then sometimes I look at it and I think, but I am a person that loves symmetry. I love um, exact. I like precision. Just put it like that. So I don't know. I'm gonna gonna give this time, and I'm gonna think about this. And um, tell me what you guys think. What do you guys think? Do you think I should have had a straight, you know, a traditional grid up here, or the fact that I'm cowlick and my hair does grow like that, and almost into a widow's peak? Um, do you think this, as my hair grows out, will it be okay? You know, all of you women and men that have sister and brother locks um or just even traditional locks everybody with who's watching this video just let me know what you think about about that other than that i have no complaints my hair the, the shrinkage is going on yeah obviously it's starting to shrink it's starting to feel in a little bit you know um i keep my hair covered up when i go to work i wear one of my um scrub scrub caps because well for one thing COVID is not completely gone. I've been vaccinated twice and I've actually had COVID as well. I'll tell you about that. It wasn't bad. It wasn't serious. It was very, very, very mild symptoms. But let's get back to the point of this video. Um, so, yeah, the um, it's starting to shrink. It's starting to fill in. And um, nothing has really seriously unravel, but I haven't washed my hair yet. 
I wash my hair for the first time next Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there's going to be a bundle and band and wash, you know, from the scalp and let the soap, let the shampoo run down through the ends and rinse thoroughly twice, twice. And then he wants me to come back for um, a retightening two weeks after that. By then, I'm sure I will need a retightening because, you know, my hair grows fast. And um, since this is uh, since I'm doing this journey, I thought I would help it along with some hair vitamins. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get some hair vitamins. And hold on one second. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to show you the vitamins that I usually take. Hold on one second. I'm back. Okay. So I am a gummy girl. I do not like swallowing pills the only pills i will swallow are the ones that like for my blood pressure and maybe sinus or something like that and GERD, that type of stuff you know you know the things us folks over 40 and 50 get okay so these are the gummy hair vitamins that i take when i take them hair and gorgeous hair skin and nails and they're I haven't taken them in a while. This is what they look like. They taste okay. This is um this is raspberry. Yeah, and it's got multivitamin plus biotin and antioxidants. So um you gotta see how much biotin it has in it. I don't have my glasses on, so this is gonna be uh me squinting. If you see me squinting my eyes looking like an old lady. You'll get there one day. Let's see. Um, Five thousand micrograms of biotin. Sorry for that long pause. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna turn around and show you how my hair is feeling out. And um, really, right now, the way it is, the way it looks right now, I like it. I like it a lot. But I think I was telling you guys I don't um, I don't wear my hair out at work because yeah because COVID you know I'm gonna take this vitamin right now mm, I just went to the dentist I forgot <laughs> a couple of weeks well last week well actually a few days ago so I shouldn't be chewing this gummy stuff but I'm gonna finish this while we talk and we're gonna continue with this video. But as I was saying, oh, excuse me. I like my hair the way it is now. It's shrinking. Um, I'm going to turn around and let you guys see the, the back of it. And then I'll finish the reason why I don't wear, I don't wear my hair out at work. Okay, let me show you. So this part up here is my the part that I feel like is more scalpy. Down here is okay. Can you see me? Okay, so this part is scalpy. This part is okay. And let me turn around. And you know, in time, all that stuff is gonna change. It's gonna get better. It's gonna fill in. But I have to be honest, this time, okay, you guys know, I started my lots myself, the last set. The first set someone else started. Yeah. So the last set, they were micro braid locks. And I think I did a really good job with those locks. Um, the base was a little bit wider than this. So I know I have at least, oof, I'm going to say at least 100 more locks than I did with that set. But again, like I said, these are sister locks. So they're going to be thinner and they're going to, they're going to take on that sister lock character. But let me get back to what I was saying. One um one reason I don't I don't really like wearing my hair out at work is because we're still very very mindful of infection control and covid. Even though uh, most of the staff, most of the staff at my job has been vaccinated, all of the patients and residents have not. So um for those for our own protection and for my own protection, you know, I don't wear shoe covers, but I do cover my hair. Um, 
And even before COVID, well, when my hair was cutting cutting a short cut, that didn't bother me because there wasn't a lot of hair to, to have to worry about. But before I decided to go ahead and relock my hair, um, I used to wear the the high puff or the low puff or, you know, a braid that I made into a bun or something like that. But my hair was always up and um, contained in either, a, like I said, the puff or the bun. And I don't know, I just feel I'm very conscious of my hair and the microorganisms that are in the air, you know, around around the job. So I'm still kind of anal about that and I don't know if um, if my hair will be exposed at work in the very near future at all so I told one of my co-workers that it will though she'll probably see my hair in two in about two months we'll see anyway so tell me what you think about the progress of my my locks um, so this is the this is the the width and the length you see it's already starting to Little bunching is trying to come out and do its thing. Can you see that? This hair ain't playing. And then one thing, I didn't realize that my strands were, I knew my, my hair, I have a lot of hair, but I have a fine hair. Um, yeah, so he found that out when he got in there and he started putting the sister locks in. He said, oh, you do have a lot of hair. He said, but it's fine. So... Your bases are going to be small, smaller than you anticipated. I have no problem with that. Um, so then when he started doing my hair, he said, oh, your hair is longer than I thought it was. So I think this is about, let's see. I'll use this as my longest one. Do I have a ruler here? What are, I'm, at, I'm in, my, in my office in my at my desk, so I know I have a ruler here somewhere. I'm going to measure this. Or am I not going to measure it? Anyway. I'd say this is a good seven inches. What you guys think? Do you think it's seven inches? I would say so. At least six. But anyway, I didn't say anything when he started talking about length because I didn't want him to add any more money onto the, the price. Any more, you know. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a... One week update and show you how my hair is progressing. I think it's actually um, coming along well. And I think it's really trying to um, process. It's trying to lock fast. I think these locks are going to lock fast. Anyway, you guys, um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions for me, any suggestions, Tell me what you think I need to do with this part right here. Leave it alone or have him repart it and make it a straight grid. You know, follow a real grid. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys on the next video. Love you. Um, please, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. If you have any lot questions or concerns, not concerns, but any lot questions, I do have videos from my own journeys and believe it or not um, I do look at other people's lock journeys um, but then I have my own particular library of lock journey that I can uh, refer to so I've been doing that a lot and then I'm just watching and see how what's the difference between this journey and my former journeys anyway I think my second journey I loved it. I really loved those braid locks. They were, they were, they were the business for me. I loved them. But when I combined them, oh, that was the biggest mistake I made. Anyway, this journey, the beginning of this journey so far is my favorite. Um, I like the way my locks are progressing within just this one week. This, this particular install and start is the favorite of the three. Okay, anyway, you guys, as I said before, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, like the video, and turn on your notification bell. Uh, hit the button twice so you'll be notified 
when I um, upload a video. Anyway, once again, journey against section, middle natural beauty, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.